everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs The Binding of Isaac. Gonna do a vanilla run today because this is like the first video I've recorded after Northern Lions Move Apocalypse 2013. So I did move places. Uh, you might be noticing a change in the sound of my voice. I'm still working on trying to get the reverb sorted out here because it might be a little bit uh, too echoey. But just deal with it for now. I promise I am not uh, coming to you live from a toilet somewhere in like the men's bathroom of a truck stop or anything like that. I am indeed in the new Northern Lion HQ. And for some reason, my game is deciding, you know what, we're gonna get real effing framey right now. Did that spider just phase through the wall? Uh, because if so, that is weird to me, and I don't necessarily appreciate his ethereal characteristics. But in any case, we're just gonna do a vanilla run, because this is, you know, quick and dirty to set up, and it always makes for entertaining and engaging content, simply by virtue of the random number generator. That's Northern Lion's dirty secret, really. Uh, is that, you know, might seem like, oh, every Northern Lion run's got a little bit of fresh commentary, it's like a Subway sandwich or something, again. Mr. Subway, if you want to hook up some kind of endorsement deal, you know who to talk to. Uh, but the truth of it is, uh, basically, I'm just at the whims of the random number generator. I am a vessel for which the RNG in Isaac can uh, speak through, shall we say. Oh, don't get hit by the bomb, please. That would be a pretty embarrassing way to take damage right off the top here. Again, uh, things might sound a little bit different, but I promise you, you'll get used to it soon enough. Every recording space has its own unique kind of character. You know how, you know... Artists will say, Re recorded in the, the historic Abbey Road studio, something like that, and you're like, I don't give a shit, just give me the new fucking Linkin Park album or something. I don't know what the kids are listening to these days. Uh, you know, that it, it makes a difference, especially, well, I mean, they have talented producers and, you know, sound engineers and shit like that. Uh, I'm just a dude, but uh, obviously I think right now the echo is a little bit big, the reverb's a little high, I am definitely going to take the attack fly. Didn't mean to rhyme there. Uh, might want to... Check some limes there, clearly, again, on the musical uh, note, I am not going to be um, virtuoso, shall we say. So I should be able to murder our uh, Widow or uh, Wicked here very, very quickly by way of this attack fly. I really like the attack fly as an item, uh, because it does give you, like, a contingency. If for whatever reason you don't get more damage, you can still almost do okay. Uh, provided you use it in a very conscious way, but we'll see what we get here from uh, the actual items. Jesus Juice, you know what? I'm not gonna reroll Jesus Juice, because again, I, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I have no idea whether this is good or bad. I think Jesus Juice is better the more damage you start with, but I'm not sure if it'll apply retroactively too. Like, if I get a ton of damage, Jesus Juice will still modify it in the same way. In any case, it's a pseudo damage modifier, so I'm not gonna skip over it. Uh, we will take our bomb here. Move on a little bit. Again, if I sound a little bit tired, I apologize as well. As you might expect, it's been a very exhausting couple of days here in Northern Lion HQ. Moving house, uh, and in fact, setting up a whole new uh, variety of stuff that is channel-related and not channel-related. Always a pain in the ass. Moving is basically, like, consistently my least favorite part of every year, so hopefully I can actually stay in this place for a little bit longer. But it is a happy move. We're moving from a place, uh, you know, if you watch my streams in particular, you know that the place... Uh, that we were, Kate and I were previously living was very, very small, and we have moved into a place that is much larger, hence the Echo. Um, but, you know, it's not mansion big, but it is big enough for two people to kind of walk side by side without having to turn sideways, which is nice. Uh, and, you know, it has doors to rooms, which is nice as well, but uh, it's not in somebody's basement, which, you know, I'm not hating on. I've lived in people's basements a, a lot of my life, including my parents for a while, which is the lamest thing ever, but... Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I was trying to play to pretenses there. Living with your parents, not lame at all. You know, you save money. Maybe they cook you delicious and healthy meals. I don't know, man. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All I'm saying is it is, it is an upgrade uh, for us here. It's a happy move, but at the same time, I am contented to stay where I am for a long time. We will re-roll this. Rainbow Baby instead of Book of Sin seems like a smart pickup for us. And we've got a weird little kind of cabal of um, familiars with us. We are picking up a good variety of kind of consumables here, but at the same time, uh, I need more keys if I'm to make something absolutely amazing happen here. Not to mention, I need more HP uh, or these inevitable deals with the devil. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. These possible deals with the devil are not going to be that useful for me. In any case, single slot machine. We might as well play it once. Not like we're going to be able to buy anything from five cents anyway. Why not take this pill? The pill is bad gas. All right, so there's a good example of a, a rhetorical question. They got a real answer afterwards. Why not take that pill? Well, because the pill is not going to be worth anything for us at all. Missing page, again, I don't really like, so I kind of skip it over. That might not be a, a terribly smart idea. I mean, at the very least, it's probably not negative, so maybe we should just pick it up. Uh, but at the same time, I, I tend to avoid that, which is unfamiliar to me. What can I say? Like most people, I have a, a slight fear of the unknown. I'm getting my ass kicked by famine here. Blame it on 
the alcohol. No, blame it on the rain. I don't even know what song I'm singing at this point. Blame it on the fact that Famine is kind of a dick and I'm on a new desk here. I mean, that's the, uh, the positive. It might sound like there's a lot of reverb, but I'm hoping that since I'm on a much thicker desk now, uh, the keyboard vibrations are not as pronounced through the mic, so... Again, it's the kind of thing where it might sound distracting right now, especially since I continuously bring it up, uh, but you'll get used to it eventually. Now, we still do not have any HP upgrades here, which is a real problem for us moving forwards, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to pick up something awesome in the item room on this floor, maybe even get the shop. As of j uh, thus far, it's been a fairly standard vanilla run. I wouldn't necessarily say we're substantially stronger than, uh, you know, we started with, or we started as on the first floor, uh, but we're certainly not, you know, proportionally weak for this point in the game either. Jesus Juice allowing us to do a little bit more damage. Uh, the attack fly occasionally providing a uh, useful kind of offensive resource. Rainbow Baby doing what Rainbow Baby does, which is usually things that I don't notice, but <laughs> in any case, let's continue moving onwards. Uh, this is the, the, once you get down to the caves, they, this cube of meat, by the way, is just some latent potential waiting to happen, but um, once you get down to the caves, this is where you really start hoping for uh, some kind of, not game-breaking, but game-changing item, uh, a mom's contact, a great tear effect, a great damager, anything like that would be fantastic. Uh, or, you know, getting a lot of HP and then eventually trading it into a deal with the devil or a guppy's paw or a, a mom's knife, etc, etc. We'll see, though. I think you're probably, at this point, pretty familiar with uh, Northern Lion's kind of M.O. for what he wants to get in all of his uh, vanilla runs. We do have our boss room here, and, uh, you know, because I've done so poorly so far with respect to my health, uh, we're kind of in a bad position because I don't want to fight the boss right now because even with two hearts, there's a chance that this run would be cut prematurely short right now, so... Maybe I will go uh, examine the rest of this floor before we really move onwards. It's Caves Part 1, you know, the bosses are usually not too bad, but if I run into something like the Fallen with a Krampus deal with the devil afterwards, we could find ourselves in a very bad position. Now, I could always use a bomb there and just get ourselves uh, an extra heart and take us back to full health, but I kind of want to have full health for the boss fight as well. Um, chocolate milk. I'm going to re-roll it because I kind of hate chocolate milk. Oh, and I guess we'll just take Dr. Fetus instead. So, uh, as I said, <laughs> this is going to definitely change things. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean this victory is a foregone conclusion. It's been a while since I used uh, Dr. Fetus. I don't necessarily consider it to be the best item in the game, but it's definitely up there. I, I think I named it, like, number five in my best items in The Binding of Isaac. So, finding it randomly in an item room, well, not randomly, I guess, uh, via a re-roll, is absolutely excellent. Now, we're still in a pretty vulnerable position. In fact, we might be in a more vulnerable position immediately than we were in just a second ago. Largely because, uh, you know, there is a fairly good chance that I could blow myself up here. But we're just going to move onwards. Uh, if I get some more keys, I would love to go to the shop, obviously. Still a vanilla run. This has not magically become a challenge run, so there are still no restrictions. But this is a nice little, uh, especially, you know, if you're fighting Chad, it's a nice way to kind of start uh, Northern Lion HQ2. Or, like, Northern Line HQ5 at this point. Jesus, have I really moved that many times since I started this channel? I think I have. Uh, but it, it's a nice little relaxing run to start with. Even if I end up losing, uh, it's going to be fun nonetheless. So we finally pick up an HP upgrade. No deals with the devil yet. I would really only at this point want Guppy's Paw and maybe Spirit of the Night or Lord of the Pit or something. Being able to fly is a huge advantage when you have Epic Feet. Or, sorry, Fetus in a Jar. Uh, because it makes it much less likely that you'll hit yourself, but again, that, that's kind of up to the player as well. <laughs> like, uh, uh, you know you could do this run completely fine from a vanilla standpoint, but we'll see. I definitely need to pick up some keys. That is going to be uh, priority A number one, uh, beyond just surviving. And I've sadly, well, I found the second secret room, which is awesome, but I also sadly kind of hamstrung myself in trying to get to this chest here, which, you know, probably doesn't contain that much of value anyway if uh, present trends hold, or previous trends hold, I suppose. So there's another bomb that we will probably get absolutely zero use out of. We will just blow up the fortune teller, because why not? Hey, a key and a spirit card. So, I am thinking that it is going to be in my best interest to go to the shop, and then maybe, or sorry, the, the item room, and then maybe find another key, go to the shop. Ten extra bombs kind of seems like a waste at this point. You know what? We will take spider butt. Spider butt, not a great item. Under normal circumstances, it's like a freeze, I think, or a sl It's a freeze plus a little Necronomicon, but uh, the freeze is actually going to be really beneficial from our perspective right now. Uh, because keeping enemies in the same place means that they're going to be much easier to hit with the bombs without actually hurting ourselves. Like, oh, it's just a slow. Okay, so it isn't actually a freeze. But at the same time, it does make these guys much easier to hit, uh, as you may or may not be able to see right there. It's not necessarily say to fair, it's fair to say that room was, um, you know, a result of me using spider butts. Or that room going well was a result of me using spider butt. But still, did I actually... Oh, it was Rainbow Baby that killed that spider. I thought he died when the bomb, like, phased through him, which would be 
a kind of an amazing, way overpowered way. Oh shit, this is not great. Uh, it would be a super overpowered way for like fetus in a jar to work if uh, your bombs like actually did damage when they hit an enemy as well. That would make taking out flies super easy. But we are gonna kill Ultra Pride. This will give us the left hand trinket at the very least. Uh, I don't really want that to be quite honest with you. I prefer having. The regular chest. The red chest can work out sometimes. I guess that's the challenge run here is I'm just skipping over like all vanilla items because I am a total ding dong. But in any case, 10 minutes in, we are doing very strongly, largely, almost completely as a result of having fetus in a jar. That being said, the second cube of meat, nothing to sneeze at either, does put us in the running for uh, four cubes of meat. We do finally get another spirit heart and a deal with the devil where, I don't know, I hope we get Krampus, I guess? But actually, we get mom's knife, which at this point is totally worthless for me. Uh, I don't even know how that would work with fetus in a jar if it would just give me crazy damage or something like that In fact, I kind of regret going down to the next floor immediately. I kind of wish I just picked it up just to see My assumption is either we would get um, Explosive knife charges which could be you know very self damaging or we would get uh, Incredibly high damage bombs which we kind of already have but at the same time would be cool by the way, if you hear me pausing here, that is just me taking a brief hit of, uh, you know, the life giver, aka the coffee that I've just made. It's been like two days without coffee while moving, and uh, I'm more addicted than I thought, shall we say. I'm like, why do I have these constant headaches? Oh, right, because I'm basically, uh, you know, fucking dependent on this drug. Society's most widely accepted drug, mind you. It's not like I'm shooting heroin or anything over here. Uh, but at the same time, I was gonna say heroin might be cheaper. That should explain to you how little I know about uh, the illicit drug culture. I don't know how much heroin costs, but I'm guessing that it's not like five dollars for a 300 gram bag. Again, that is just um, me going on my complete ignorance. Hey, an HP upgrade in our mob trap room. That is gonna be excellent for us. Why don't we freeze these angel fetuses who are likely to be the most annoying enemy we will face? And I am still in the market for sure for a better spacebar item, but this being said, uh, I'm not displeased with the spacebar item that we have. Spider butt, the, the main strength of it, I guess, is that it charges super quickly. Um, I almost need a range upgrade or something. Leapers, or hoppers I should say, fairly difficult to take out with uh, the bombs, but uh, if they get close to me, well, that's gonna be their ass that dies then. Uh, and I really, at this point, am finding it, uh, I'm struggling to think of some kind of condition that would cause us to die here. Uh, if we're quoting Kenny Rogers, you know, what condition is our condition in? Our condition is good right now. We're not condition zero, we're not um, air conditioner. I'm running out of references that have any kind of relevance at this point. But hopefully you get the feeling uh, for where we're at right now. But I mean, this is not the first fetus in a jar run you've probably seen if you're an avid watcher of Northern Lions videos. I, I was doing fetus in a jar videos back before Isaac came out. I mean, mind you, they got taken down by the US government, but... Finally, we see a Tinted Rock. I'm not sure if that's the first one we've seen, but it's the first one I've seen. <laughs> it might not be the first one that's ever appeared uh, for us, but it's the first one I've seen. So we've got a weird uh, little interaction with the slow on Gish here. How do you like it when you get slowed, Gish? Uh, clearly, I I'm pretty bad at actually doing damage to Gish here, because it requires timing, which is something that uh, I lack, despite being uh, an expert at Kung Fu fighting. That's not true, by the way. If you were to fight me in the street, you would almost certainly win. There we go, we picked up a little gish, now don't let me forget to get this tinted rock over here, which contains small rock, again, no idea if that'll benefit us, it'll definitely give us a speed downgrade. Uh, and again, we pick up a couple of items here that I'm not really all that psyched about, so I'm just gonna skip over them instead. You know, two hearts for the mark seems super bad, when compared to one heart for, uh, Mom's Knife. Mm-hmm. Delicious no frills coffee. So we are on Necropolis here. I can't remember if this was Curse of the Lost. I should probably be able to remember it considering we just saw it like 10 seconds ago. Uh, but what can I say? You know, I've got a, we learned in school. I don't know if you learned in school because maybe you went to better schools than me. But you learned in school, you can really only hold seven things in your brain at one time. So, you know, doing commentary, that's why phone numbers apparently work most of the time. Again, this is pseudo psychology. It's pop psychology, if you will. Uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily a super fan of, but. Uh, I'm just dictating it here second hand. Let's be honest. This is all just verbal diarrhea to provide some enjoyment anyway Let's see what this pill does range down. That's actually pretty bad um, Yeah, you can only hold seven things in your brain at any given time. So, you know, cut me some slack here. I'm holding at least 11 All of the, what the effects of all these tarot cards uh, When to eat lunch, you know what I'm gonna use as my tags for this video uh, how old is Cher? Like, all sorts of questions just percolating around in my brain at any given moment, so... If I forget some relevant stuff, I apologize, but, you know, that's what being almost, maybe a little bit close to old is like. 
Uh, we're gonna take Ghost Baby down here, and we can't do anything there. I don't know how long it's been since we actually lost health. We've been holding on to these Spirit Hearts for a long time. Obviously, I want to get a key. And with that key, I the wed. No, with that key, I will absolutely go to the item room unless I can get there. Oh, I don't, don't even know what happened there. I think Ghost Baby is shooting my bomb. So I guess the range downgrade actually doesn't matter because I got a, a fake range upgrade by way of these uh, Ghost Babies and whatnot and Rainbow Babies and Poison Touch is a totally solid item, making it very worth my while to... Oh, almost got tagged there. Uh, making it very worth my while to go through the trouble of these mob Trap Rooms. Normally, I, I like to skip over these because anything I can use to, you know, justify or promote my laziness is awesome, but uh, they've been making it, again, too valuable for me to skip over at this point. You know what? I think I've got the, the frame rate issue sorted out again. Uh, I know it's framey right now, but that's simply a result of this computer not being on Windows 7 basic display mode, I think. Technical difficulties abound, man. I have no idea why uh, I have the most technical difficulties out of, like, any YouTuber that I know of. I think it's just because, again, I, I'm moving so constantly and constantly, like, changing up equipment and stuff like that. I'm always thinking, like, whenever I buy something or whenever I set up a new piece of equipment, I'm like, ah, this is finally going to be it. This is going to be the end. And then, like, a new technical issue pops up, and I'm like, god damn it, Murphy's Law. Um, we might as well pick up this penny, I guess. I haven't gone to a single shop over the course of this entire run, which is pretty depressing, but at the same time, I can't really complain because I do have one of the single most powerful items in the game. Uh, and if we could find the secret room, we could definitely make it happen, uh, assuming it's next to the shop anyway. But, uh, let's just throw this in here, we'll take this chest, which gives us Burnt Penny, which we'll use for one floor, uh, and will be absolutely worthless for us, because we already, you know, have unlimited numbers of bombs, essentially. I mean, not literally, if you want to get technical, we, we have very limited numbers of bombs. I could not just sit here until, you know, the universe explodes or something like that. We do have a secret room, it's unfortunately down here. Unicorn Horn! You know what? I'm gonna take Spider Butt still. Uh, I think Unicorn Horn is probably a better item. Uh, mathematically, or you could probably quantify it, I guess, um, but I still prefer Spider Butt because I think the slow is going to be real beneficial at taking out uh, some of these bosses, especially bosses like, uh, you know, Isaac and Blue Baby are not going to be that bad, presumably, because we have uh, the, uh, my, my favorite way to fight them, essentially, which is what we have right now, which is a lot of damage and not a lot of tears firing at any given time. I apologize for my ineloquence there, but we're going to pick up another two spirit hearts here, and that is going to placate the masses a little bit, myself included. Again, we haven't lost health in a damn long time. I don't know what it is about... N a change of scenery sometimes uh, is all you need to play a little bit better, like yesterday on the Dark Souls stream. By the way, Northern Lion Live Super Show, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, here live on YouTube if you have not been watching. Uh, but we were playing Dark Souls yesterday, and I won, like... 90% of my invasions? It was seriously, like, I'm not exaggerating, I think. Uh, it, was, it was monumental. And all it really was was me being on a different desk and looking at a different view right now. Who knows, man. This is a long floor. I guess I might as well pick up all these bombs. Or, sorry, all these pennies, because it gives us a chance at getting a bomb. Uh, but I guess we'll go down and to the right here. We've got to be coming very close to the end of the game. Or, very close to the end of this floor, at least. But I haven't really, I, like, I've gotten the benefit from Fetus in a Jar, don't get me wrong. Also, I guess the other reason I'm not taking that much damage is because single cube of meat, or second level cube of meat, is really helping me out here. Uh, but let's come down here, and then, uh, it's gotta be, like, adjacent to this room. Adjacent! Uh, he almost got hit there. These enemies can still be a pain in the ass, because they don't explode, uh, exactly at the right time that I want them to. Now, here's the real question here. Do I want to fight Mom, or do I want to come back here and play the Blood Bank a little bit? And I think, you know, honestly, I just kind of want to fight Mom. I don't really need the money. Uh, I suppose I could go to the shop at this point. I, well, now I can, because I already went into the boss room. That's my bad. Uh, we're gonna slow things down a little bit here, like a Barry White track. Uh, we are down to about 50% of Mom's health, which puts us in a very good position. And if we just continue to hit her with bombs occasionally... Oh, I shot a bomb at the one of the four sections uh, that... Okay, I've finally taken a hit uh, that, that her body did not come out of there. Kind of just playing the guessing game here every single time. One to three of these sections will become fleshy lumps, which is an alternate name for a Black Eyed Peas track. I don't know why I'm calling them tracks instead of songs. I'm trying to make myself sound cooler than I actually am. So we will definitely take Mom's underwear. We will definitely take the Polaroid and we'll move downwards again. I don't see anything in the short term stopping us, but anything can happen in the long term, of course. And this might be our first pink glitch. 
in the new Northern Lion HQ would not surprise me, but hey, gives me a good opportunity. Let's not even call it the pink glitch anymore, or like the XL glitch. Let's just call it the coffee glitch, because it gives me a sweet opportunity to drink some of this medium ass roast. Medium ass roast. That sounds like something you would order, like if you went to a uh, a restaurant in a foreign country, foreign to me, of course, as an English speaker, and they had like a you know, a, let's say Vietnamese language translated to English, and you'd be like, hmm. It's actually supposed to be like a, a braised pork shank or something, but they called it a braised ass roast. Or, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Utero XL, this is good, but I still haven't taken a sip of my coffee. Alright, let's move onwards then. So, we have a nice little uh, cavalcade of orbitals and familiars following us here. I normally don't make a distinction between orbitals and familiars, but I'm starting to because I'm realizing orbitals, you know, to avoid confusion, are much better for defense. And familiars are much more uh, offensive focused, shall we say. So I really should be using Spider Butt whenever possible. I, I mentioned that this had like a little bit of a Necronomicon style effect, but I don't actually know if that's true. I haven't really seen it doing any extra damage for us here, but maybe that's just because all the enemies take more than one Spider Butt to kill, if that makes sense. So it's difficult to kind of uh, conceptualize it. Now I have already lost all of my Spirit Hearts that I had recently. This is why I was saying that this run is not a foregone conclusion. If we could get like a Guppy's Paw, it might be, uh, if we get a decent amount of luck as well. I almost hit that guy into me. Um, but as is right now, like, we're definitely not in the clear. Because we only have five hits, basically. I mean, we can come back and replenish our health. But it, on any given room, we only have five hits. And we could easily get hit more than five times on a blue baby boss fight. Probably not on a mom's heart boss fight, because that'll go real quick. Uh, but yeah, an Isaac a blue or blue baby fight, we could easily get hit more times than that. Uh, probably don't want to play Demon Judgment. If I had more Spirit Hearts, I might consider it. We are going to get a third level cube of meat here. We are fighting Mom's Heart after we finish fighting Death. Uh, the Death fight should be super easy. I don't see anything uh, really stopping us unless I'm a big ding dong like that. By the way, I do have Poison Touch, so if I could ever get permanent invul invincibility due to the Polaroid... Oh, or I guess I could just kill him like that. But if I ever got permanent invincibility due to the Polaroid... Uh, we'd be able to make some really good stuff happen, and, you know, picking up this third level cube of meat was actually kind of a negative, because this is going to make uh, Isaac and Blue Baby do a lot more shooting. I'm just hoping that it kind of offsets that with the amount of damage that it does, uh, but in any case, you know, getting a third level cube of meat is certainly not a bad thing. I guess we missed fighting war, so we can't possibly get a fourth level cube of meat, which sucks, but, you know, in the same time, uh, third level cube of meat just having, happening uh, naturally in the wild is still really solid. Uh, definitely a better return on investment from a damage perspective than basically anything else in the game. Although, you know, maybe not, because it did take three item rooms to make it happen, or three boss rooms to make it happen, so... Who knows? We have only gotten uh, two uh, HP upgrades over the course of this entire run, which is definitely, you know, lower than average, I would say. But, uh, this is gonna be a super easy fight against Mom's Heart. I mean, the worst enemy that Mom's Heart creates is quite oftentimes Chubb, and Chubb is gonna be basically totally worthless against us here, because we're just gonna be firing his exact weakness down his throat at all times. Might, yeah, I mean, we could Spider Butt here, but it's actually not necessary. Hopefully she drops at least one heart so I can replenish my health. Hey, you know, half a heart, I guess beggars can't be choosers. Let's go up into the cathedral here, and again, so far so good. I would not be surprised if we died on this floor, as we have died to Isaac a lot recently, unfortunately. But um, at the same time, I would also not be surprised to see us finally make it to the chest, and hopefully we get the kind of keys uh, where that would actually be a valuable transition for us. Because as of right now, uh, with only two keys, I guess I can make something, I can pick up a couple of good items, but it's kind of unlikely. Uh, I've had some bad luck on the chest recently, if I remember correctly, but it's also just been a little while since I've been to the chest. Because uh, for whatever reason, Isaac has been kicking my ass. I mean, that could happen again. We're really going to pick up Steam Sale here on the Cathedral. Disappointing, but, I, you know, I guess you know, you got to do what you got to do. Thank you, by the way, to Meat Boy for taking care of these uh, asshole flies that are getting up in my grill. Hmm, just trying to think. Okay, obviously we're at a dead end here, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, but single bomb should be enough to take out each of these greed heads. You forget how easy the game is when you have, like, you know, basically unlimited bombs. Uh, the money doesn't mean anything to me. It's not about the money. It's about fighting Isaac. Every time I hit my desk, I'm looking at Audacity, and there's, like, a huge, like, boom, boom wave. Uh, which means that I'm gonna start making movie trailer music here. No, I have no idea. Uh, we have another heart, which is gonna take us back to full health. Could have waited on that one, I guess, but there's kind of no point. Uh, we have a blood bank, which obviously I'm not gonna play. That was shitty damage to take on my part, and I apologize to the viewers out there. You know, not just, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed, shall we say. If I could just manage to hit this guy, we'd be okay. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna continue moving onwards here. I really doubt that we're gonna die before Isaac, but, um, 
you know, I'm, I'm definitely welcoming getting to that Isaac boss fight, because once we get there, I think that's actually going to be even easier, uh, as, as much as that might seem to contradict what I just said about not dying before. Uh, at the same time, I feel like we're very unlikely to die uh, during the fight as well, especially with that Spirit Heart. That makes a big difference. Uh, mostly just in terms of raw health, but in any case. Let's get going here. Uh, if Me Boy doesn't chew, that might actually be better for us. Let's get Spider Bite going. I want to get some permanent invincibility. Okay, this is actually going really badly. Is there any way I could just disable Me Boy for this fight? If only I'd gotten some sweet ass, uh, like homing bombs or Mr. Mega or something like that. Probably Mr. Mega, because I don't actually need homing bombs. My aim with the bombs is pretty good. It doesn't have to be great in order to uh, do a lot of damage. So I can only get hit one more time without punishment, essentially, or without losing. Oh, and there it is. So this is coming right down to the wire, and I very nearly died right there. One more hit, and he might drop some health. Oh my god, I just needed to get the heart! <laughs> What a total waste right at the end. But as always, thank you guys for watching again. This is just kind of a warm-up or a cool-down run uh, after my move. I'm going to be recording a lot more today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for your support. As always, continue suggesting your challenge runs in the comments, and I will do them now that I actually have time to read the comments again. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.